Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16. Now, iOS 16 is now just days away from being released on its first beta. It seems to be a very exciting update from the reports and the rumors that we got, even though Apple has kept this update really secret and we didn't get any like exact screenshots or things like that reported from iOS 16. Even though we have some clues, we have some reports that of course talk about the features and changes changes that are coming to this update and we have a really interesting one that was reported like this week from a dev of iOS which is really really interesting we're going to talk about that in a minute here so it looks like this is it this is what we will get before we see the real thing at WWDC 2022 so let's talk about everything you should know and we know regarding this update so first of all as far as supported devices goes this rumor has been around since January it looks like and it is expected that Apple will actually drop support for the oldest devices that are currently supporting iOS 15 and those are the iPhone 6s, 6s plus and the original SE. So unfortunately if you have one of those devices you won't be able to update your device to iOS 16. The oldest iPhone to support iOS 16 should be the iPhone 7 and of course the 7 plus. Now let's get to the release time. You know that it will be released on June 6th, that will be the date when WWDC 2022 will start. Apple has released the schedule and that day you will see the first beta, the dev beta of iOS 16. Now the time is around 12 p.m. Pacific time. I'm saying that because the conference will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time and it should last about an hour, 15 minutes or 90 minutes, something like that. And then probably like in half an hour after the end of the conference, you should see the first dev beta of iOS 16 getting released for the devs, of course. That should be at around 12 p.m. Pacific time. So that's the exact time when you can expect iOS 16 to be released to the devs. Unfortunately, this year it looks like Apple will push away the public beta. It usually releases alongside the second beta of the dev, but this year it looks like iOS 16, due to the new features and changes that will make, it's more buggy, so Apple will push away the release of the public beta. And you can expect it somewhere in June in July, actually. You would expect it somewhere around July 5th or 6th if Apple decides to go on the two-week schedule with the dev beta we should see the third beta of dev round here and that's the day that i believe apple should also release the public beta to the public to test ios 16 of course as long as they as long as they think that it is stable enough for the public to test it and now let's talk about this really interesting feature that is reported to come to iOS 16 or better say iPadOS 16. I don't believe that will come to iPhone. It should be a feature for iPadOS. So according to dev named Steve Smith, he tweeted that WebKit just added infrastructure for multitasking mode on iOS. That sure looks like it's a system toggle that enables freely resizable windows. So on Safari, you will be able to resize your windows. That's something you can do with Mac OS. So it looks like Apple is changing iPad OS and it should have a mode where it's more like Mac OS. That's really, really interesting. You might finally be able to actually replace your laptop with an iPad. That's what Apple has been trying to do for years now, but it actually iPad OS and iOS are pretty much the same. So it looks like this year Apple will make more changes towards that goal and make iPad OS more like Mac OS. And now let's move on to iOS. So here are some features that we know that are coming to iOS 16. First of all, always on display. Now we have been expecting this feature and we have been wanting it for years now, but it looks like it is coming with iOS 16, but it will be exclusive only to the newer iPhones that will be released on September. So the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. Now we have a report on this, so it is expected to come, but again, unfortunately, only on the newest devices. We have also a new feature, which is called crash detection, just like you have fault detection with the Apple Watch. This should be a new feature for the iPhones and the Apple Watches, which is really, really great. It should actually help a lot of people. You know that the Apple Watch has actually helped a lot of people with fault detection this should be really interesting there are new ways to interact with ios that are coming according 
to Mark Grumman from Bloomberg. He has reported, which is of course our main source to iOS 16 and our most trusted source. So according to him, there will be new ways to interact. And with that, we're expecting interactive widgets, something like this, having maybe toggles on your home screen, being able to do more with iOS 16 on the home screen of your device without having to open the app at all. This is a feature that it is expected for a long time. We actually expected this on iOS 15. It didn't happen. Hopefully it will happen this year. There will be new big changes with notifications as well. This is a report also that was for iOS 15. We didn't get that it should come to ios 15, 16 actually and we should see redesign notifications which are really really important now there are some features that have been actually reported by apple some accessibility features that are coming and probably are coming to ios 16 because we won't get them with any update on ios 15 one of them will be live captions so your device will automatically produce captions real time for literally any audio content including facetime calls right on your iphone which is really great and of course it will help a lot of people apple watch mirroring is also coming to ios 16 so you will be able to actually mirror your apple watch on your iphone and also door detections devices with lidar scanner will be able to actually detect doors using the magnifier app reading text and also judging distance you have light the lidar scanner right there at the camera that black dot that's the lidar scanner now if your device has that you will be able to actually use this feature so this is basically everything we know regarding ios 16. Whether you should update or not, I know a lot of people will want to update and they will also update to the dev beta, of course, not wait for the public beta because this year it will be a bit late. So it looks like this update will be actually really buggy due to the major changes that will happen to iOS and of course, probably a lot of new features. But what I would suggest you do, make sure you update when you know it's stable enough to use, especially if you're using it on your main device. If you have a spare device, you want to try it out, it's good to go. You can go ahead and try it out. But if you're using it only on your main device, make sure that you wait and may maybe just hear some options on how it's working and whether it's worth downloading it on your device or not. And as a conclusion, this looks to be an amazing update. The fact that we didn't get much from Apple, we don't know a lot about this update, it seems really exciting. Even though from reports from Mark Grumman, we know that we cannot expect a major overhaul on design on iOS. There should be major changes across the system as reported by Mark Grumman, which of course makes this a very exciting update. So yes, I believe this to be one of the biggest updates to iOS in years, and it should be really really great so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this also don't forget to leave a like on this one as it helps out a lot and let me know right down below in the comments what do you think about ios 16 are you excited and will you download it to your device so that's it i will see you guys on the next video